South fortitude of the Kiel standard of Pakistan umpiring and the condition of the pitch. It may have something to do with the state of the game. In reply to the locals massive nine declared for 469, the Australians are seven for just 116. With no hope of victory, team manager Colin Egar has lodged complaints about three of the decisions. Before a ball was even bowled, Egar described this wicket as the equivalent of a fourth day pitch. Openers David Boone and Jeff Marsh would certainly agree with him. I like ball game. Four runs later, Marsh followed, and me and Dad's decision to unleash spin was paying off. Is the end of Jeff Marsh. In the afternoon session, wickets tumbled steadily. Dean Jones was trapped plumb in front by Kazim. Three for 40, and Australia needed some Allen border courage. It wasn't coming, and the visitors were in all sorts of trouble. Uh, the situation wasn't helped when war was judged LBW, a very dubious decision and one which team management took up at the end of the day. Australian hopes rested with Graham Wood. He played some delightful strokes, surviving 90 minutes at the crease for 23. But he eventually fell to Pakistan's third spinner, Tasif. Six for 64, and the Aussie tailenders decided to take to the bowlers. For a while, it worked. He got away with that, four runs. Just before stumps, though, Ian Healy was brilliantly caught close in. The Australian wicketkeeper at top scored with 26. Dottomay joined Taylor and carried the score to 7 for 116. With a rest day today, the Australians face a massive task to save the match. Jim Wilson, National 9 News.